Yeah, maybe I have one or two questions. Hi, Derek McKee, uh, Purdue University. Uh, I'm wondering what the what the use of uh, the fuzzing mechanism is in this. If you can uh, if you can uh, perform concolic execution on the kernel, why even do go through the fuzzing process and at all? So, so well, first I'll address something that wasn't in your question: symbolic execution. So maybe like doing this statically. So there are drawbacks to doing uh, gadget scanning statically because the kernel is like so complex. And there's previous work that shows symbolic execution in the kernel can only scale to like a few basic blocks just because it's so massive and complex. But to your question, why we do fuzzing and not concolic execution? Uh, uh, so we so some follow-up work could indeed be some concolic execution. Uh, on these gadgets to to kind of um, uh, analyze the constraints to, of basically how exploitable the gadgets are. So 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 in this case, we just we just fuzz the kernel and we get a bunch of gadgets and then we manually an analyze them. But some concolic execution could be would be uh, appropriate to further analyze them. Does that does that answer your question? Uh, yes. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe one more question. Uh, Roland? Uh, Roland Yap, National, National University of Singapore. Okay, nice work. Uh, I was wondering whether uh, there's so a few questions. Okay, One is that the secrets are as you define right there from the analysis. They are not necessarily secrets which the Linux kernel defines the secrets, I think. In, uh, then another question is that it seems as if you are detecting out of bounds, you're using out of bounds, but an attack need not be out of bounds, correct? Sure, yeah, so uh, uh, your first question, sorry, what was your first question? Uh, secrets. Secrets, okay, yeah, so. so you know, what, what, what are secrets? Yeah, so, so in, our, in our threat model, you know, a user process should not know any kernel memory. Uh, and, and it's true that some kernel memory is more secret than other kernel data, but as far as we're concerned, like, an uh, unprivileged user process should never be able to exfiltrate any kernel data. But indeed, like, like there are varying levels of secretness to some data. Uh, and your next question? Oh, out of bounds. Out of bounds, yeah, right. So, so in, in the example, I only focused on out of bounds because that kind of uh, was part of the original example. Uh, but we also modeled use after freeze, uh, things like transient page faults and so on. Sorry? Yeah, right. So, so, yeah, so, so other memory errors. And, and, but, but the nice thing about, about doing this kind of in a generalizable way is we can, so, so we use, we use uh, kernel address sanitizer to kind of give us out of bounds and use after free detection, but we could use any other sanitizer to detect transient memory errors. So like if we use kernel memory sanitizer, we could detect secrets that are loaded via uninitialized reads and things like this. So, so we can just plug in different sanitizer and detect other transient vulnerabilities. Does that answer your question? Okay. 